Hello and welcome to Legacy Pocono. We are here in the Arca series, getting the week started here. And uh, hopefully going to have ourselves a fun one. We are the number three car, first time slot of the week. So we got a ton of the fast guys in here. And um, I think, isn't this the last week of the season? Am I making that up? I haven't been paying any attention to be honest, but... Uh, we're getting close to the end of the season if this isn't the last week. And uh, we're going to be do some, doing some shifting here at Pocono, um, I believe. I've found that uh, through turn one, I'm uh, getting some more speed, um, particularly out of the corner, whenever I shift into third. So that's what we're going to go for. To maybe even get some more rotation doing that and get it on the right rear which will be even better in race conditions as long as I can balance that right and uh, we'll see what we can do I don't think I'm uh, I've got winning speed but I think I can probably get myself a solid finish we'll see it's very tough to get it just right uh, especially when shifting here in turn one we'll see what I can do here Alright, that was a pretty good run through there, and you'll see that I got some green in my all-time optimal. That's uh, the best run I've been able to get out of that turn one, is while shifting, so... That's why uh, I'm all about that. Using very little to no break in turn two when going through there. I didn't do a very good job that time, though. And, uh, balancing the throttle and counter steer out of turn three. One more lap. And that should be an, a decent-ish time. We're in the 56s. I'll take that. I think getting a sub-57 is a pretty solid effort. Let's see if we can do anything here on a second lap. Not sure if that's going to be a thing or not, but... Might actually be worth it to run lower in turn one. Kind of liked how that worked. I kind of worry that uh, the second lap we're not going to get as much speed through turns two and three, however. Because of the less tire grip, but I definitely hit turn two better that time. Hey, maybe we will get a faster lap on lap number two here. Uh, definitely feeling the lack of grip in three, though. The leader was just done a it might have hurt us a little bit too much. I also went a little bit high. Yeah, a little bit slower. Man, that whole lap was fast until it hit turn three. That's okay. Tire grip really matters in three, I think. I don't know how uh, well I'm going to be able to do with tire saving. Here in the race. We got Larry on the pole. Um, th these are the guys that I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up to, the guys that are in the eights. Kind of doing a little bit of practice here, running at race pace to get the feel down. Very unique challenge here at Pocono. Anytime you visit, huge track, and uh, so much of it is about making sure you keep up momentum through the corner and get a good exit as you go on the friggin' airplane runway of the straightaway here. You could land Air Force One on any of these straightaways, probably. That's the end of the session, P3. Oh wow, everyone qualified uh, really quick there. So we'll get P3 as a starting spot. I'm happy with that, for sure. Got chat on. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. Again, I don't know what my long run pace is going to look like. Should help, I think, to be shifting in first in the first turn, so long as I'm not overdriving while doing it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I definitely don't want to be like side by side with anyone too long, but I could definitely see it being difficult to pass as well. So at the same time, I don't want to give up a give up a bunch of track position. So. The estimated strength of field is three thousand six hundred forty-three. 
We There's your strength of field, as reported. They've got that accurate now. Before it was a little inaccurate. I think it's pretty accurate now, though, if not exact. Um, a little bit lower for the first time slot of the week than what we normally get for first time slot Arca. I think uh, maybe Pocono's not too popular, unfortunately. Uh, very unique place. Oh, we got a good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you, too. Where is uh, Charles starting? He's starting P13 as the 17, so he's already looking pretty good to finish ahead of his car number and have a solid finish. Good luck to him and uh, to several other guys we know. Austin, um, Lewandowski, Gavin Ropchan back there. There's a lot of guys that we know. And a lot of guys that uh, we don't always see in the first time slot of Arca this week. A little bit of a different field, as some people may... Uh, like I said, maybe skipping Pocono, or at least uh, not doing the first time slot of the week column, here. Zero, one, in the inside column. We'll have Larry in front of us. Of course, going to be the favorite to win. He's got the pull time, and usually he's pretty darn good at uh, keeping the tires happy. Maybe I can learn something watching him. I think it's going to be all about being smooth, though. Whoa. Run right to the back of him. Give him some space. All right. Hopefully we get ourselves a good jump. Maybe even get, can get to the inside of the four. But I think that second lane in turn one is going to be plenty fast. So more than anything, I think I would like to get single file before we ruin our tires. 20 laps here, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it takes a while to get around this place. So makes sense. It's a, uh, what is it, like a two, two and a half mile track this is? Something like that. It's over two, if not two, miles here. Might be two and a half like Indianapolis. I don't remember. All I know is it's basically three straightaways pasted together. Didn't get any tire spin, it looks like, from second gear start. Might be hard to tell when he launches just because we are kind of. Because we are uh, kind of starting with a lower RPM. So I'm going to have to keep an eagle eye out for whenever he decides to hit that throttle. And we're going to get started here soon. About to go green, stay focused. He actually kind of got caught off guard by the green flag, I think. Stay low. The next car's the leader. <laughs> well, unless he was just planning on starting late. Keep low. Keep low. So the uh, four is going to cut down to the inside there. We are ahead of the five. Get back out for us. Much appreciated to him for that. Kind of catch up to Larry quick, so. Oh, the four kind of blocking. Larry gets his nose down there, though. Ooh, pretty uh, intense first lap here already. We're all doing, doing just fine, though. We are going to make a move to the inside of Neon Green up here. I forgot to shift. Look at me being goofy. I'm going to have to remember to do that, because I do think that's the best way to go about this. Definitely don't want to over overdrive too. I think you can really hurt your right front right there. Do a lot of damage to it if you're not careful.
Same story for three. I think you could overdrive that pretty easily, too. We'll be careful on these entries. I'm not going to worry at all about snaking down the straightaways. The draft is almost non-existent in this car. I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing and take the shortest path there. Shift this time. And you can see how much faster that was compared to last lap. That's why I think shifting in turn one is the way to go. By the time we get to turn two, almost a tenth faster. Of course, uh, considering maybe I just took it a little bit better, but I do think it is a better option to shift. With the bonus of even getting it uh, rotated, saving some uh, right front as a bonus as well. We're hanging in there. I think these two guys are probably going to pull away from us, to be honest, but that's all right. We are in P3, and I'm very happy with that. We are the three car. So we're not going to get too greedy with uh, what we want from our finish here. Pulling away from P4 right now. That makes me happy. Give us some breathing room. You may have noticed I moved my uh, brake bias all the way back to 57 with the in-car adjustment. I think you want as much of it back as possible. Get as much rotation as you can on braking. Kind of hanging in there. Four car looking good from the start here. Uh oh, Gavin Rapchan's run into trouble. I see him on the lap, as a lap car up there. That's unfortunate. You can see that. Always rooting for Gavin. He's about the nicest guy on iRacing, probably. <laughs> I watch his videos and he'll get wrecked in just the most ugly, like, horrible driving by somebody and he's like man that's just racing sometimes and I'm like I wish I could be as positive sometimes now but we've gained a little bit on these guys ahead probably at the expense of my long run pace but you never know. We're going to keep going. We're 25% through this thing after five laps. Uh, man, Charles got in a wreck too, it looks like. Why is everybody we're rooting for getting in trouble? Oh, did the four just get the wall on exit? He might have. Probably not more than a light brush, though. Underdrove that a little bit there. Hey, maybe these two guys will get to battling and uh, they'll come back to us. You never know what could happen. I think we're within striking distance at least. A little late on the shift there, not too bad though. I think Larry's probably biding his time. I think he's just waiting for the chance to pass. So that way he doesn't end up side by side too long. He's smart about it. I think he's waiting until he knows he can get the pass done quickly. If I had to guess. Good run through three that time. Good enough, at least. Better than last lap. I'm satisfied with how it went. Your 
lap time was at 57.4. Lewandowski's making his way forward. I see him back there, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. I'm late on the shift again. That's okay. Felt like I got a lot of good rotation through the corner that time. I did wonder about first gear through three here, but I could not make that quite work during practice. Who knows, maybe there's something to it later in a run, but unless uh, I'm put in a position where I really desperately need to make up some time in three, I don't think I'm going to experiment w with it right here. It would be really interesting to see if people have success doing that though. That neon green of Adam up there in the lead. He's getting really close to the wall on exit. He's really getting the most out of it. Trying to outpace pace. He's got the pressure on him, that's for sure. That lap time was 57.5. End of this lap will be halfway. Car still feels okay. They're kind of keeping about 7 tenths, 5 tenths or so ahead of us. And as soon as they try going side by side, that'll slow down their, their speed a whole lot. So, looking forward to that. That's assuming Larry can catch him, though. Which we'll see. We'll see what happens. Three point two back behind us at the line. Halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. That lap was a fifty seven point six. Maybe a touch early on the shift that time. It's really touchy. If you get it just right, you can really tell because it gives you a bunch of bonus speed. But you gotta get it pretty exact to get the result you're hoping for. I underdrove too that time. I, bro I hit the brakes much more than I normally do for some reason. They are neck and neck. And with nine to go, still time. Fortunately, I think I'm not saving my tires quite as well as those guys ahead. It feels like I'm losing some time just by lack of grip in the corners. Man, that man Adam in the lead up there is being so precise. He's going all the way out to the wall and being more brave than I would normally be. I usually give myself some buffer for mistake near the wall, but he's bringing it up right next to it. Maximizing his uh, momentum. Might be why he's leading this thing, because he's daring enough to do so. Like I said earlier, it's all about momentum here at Pocono. The gap to East in front is now 
Will Larry go for the move? He's only one tenth back of him. I decided I would be a little more daring in turn two there. It's definitely fast if you're willing to be brave. They're still within a second of me up front at least. Or <laughs> maybe pulling out of it right now, but. That lap was at 57.7. That's good consistency, keep it up. Lewandowski's found his way to fourth, but he's got 3.6 seconds to make up on us, and it's going to be six to go at the end of this lap. So, he's got a long way to, to go to make up to us. Probably need a mistake from us. Kind of like I did there, but... <laughs> That was just me getting a little bit too sideways. The gap to peace ahead is now 1.0. I don't know, man. Maybe the four is too fast. It does look like Larry's pushing with that third gear out of turn one, doing his best to try to get up to him. He might not be able to catch him. Bobbled a little bit too much there through one. Woo! That time I got close to the wall. I wasn't even really trying that time. That's why I give myself the buffer zone. Kevin's going to go to the inside and let us buy. Tip of the cap to him. Sorry, his race hasn't gone so well. Very classy and aware move, though, to let the leaders spy, especially those two guys who are battling real close up ahead. Stay out of their race. They're starting to pull away enough to where maybe not even them being side by side is going to help me. Unfortunately. They are just too good. We'll see, though. Hey, you never know. Maybe pushing real hard. Green guy gets into the wall. Larry can't get around him. They crash. And then guess who is the new leader? Hey, you never know. I can dream, right? Not that I want anything bad to happen to him, but that is a distinct possibility. How much everybody's maximizing the corners here and going all out trying to get this win with four to go? I've seen similar things happen before. Under drove that really bad. Is Larry going to be able to make a move on him? The answer, peace ahead is now 1.6 seconds. Feeling pretty comfortable with P3, so as long as we don't make any mistakes. Those two are clearly the class of the field, though. Your lap time was 58.2. Still only uh, one-tenth behind.
Coming to two to go. Is, oh, here, here's the move, I think. There he goes. To the inside. I'm overdriving because I'm excited Our watching this race. Next car is <laughs> right when I don't need to be doing that because this is my chance to gain a little bit on him, but with only two laps left, go. not going to have any time. Two laps left. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. They're still side by side, having gone through turn one. This is going to be a big moment in this race. Heading into the tunnel turn. Car ahead is East. Oh, I think Larry cleared him. He did. Great racing, clean pass in the tunnel turn. That is not easy to do. Or, uh, try to get it back. That's got to be heartbreaking. Coming to the white flag now. Might be the first lap he hasn't led so far. We gained a little bit on him, but like I said, not enough time to catch back up. The heck have I been doing in turn one that I was just a tenth faster right there? You telling me if I were actually skilled, I could have been faster this whole time? <laughs> I'm gonna forget that happened. That's just embarrassing. I think Larry's got it. With a skillful pass in the tunnel turn, I think he's gonna take the win. Might have even been uh, waiting that whole time. I'm gonna test out third gear here. See what happens. Get some loose is what happens. Hey, there might have been something to that. I don't know if I did that correctly. The race is over now. Podium finish. Nice one. Good race. Good win. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. Good win, Larry. Good win. Nice run. Solid work. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was well done. That was uh, that was fun to watch from P3 there, and an excellent finish for us. <laughs> Seventy-seven, eighty-one. Uh, I don't see anyone sharing their tires, but we'll uh, report that if people are interested. Start putting their stuff down. So we'll see the incidents now. Here we are. So it's almost kind of like uh, like I predicted. Uh, we had pretty good pace, but not quite the pace of uh, those guys. No pun intended. So lap one, heading into turn one. Ooh, light bit of contact, maybe? I'm not sure. Ooh, it looks like we had like a stack up kind of thing going on. Everyone kind of on top of each other. So... Heading in, Lewandowski gets on the brakes, and then Charles behind him gets on the brakes. Hard enough not to get into the back of him too hard. It looks like he almost got him unsettled, and then he probably sees the 14 down there. Everyone just kind of on top of each other. Tough to know where to be. And then I saw maybe, yeah, it gets a light tap in the right rear. Maybe that contributed to that loose moment here, and oh man, just unfortunately not able to catch it, and oh boy, that's a big one. That's what happened to Gavin, and a couple other guys caught into that one. That's very unfortunate. Oh man, nowhere to go. The 20 almost got past it, but uh, I think Austin had no control over his car, or no, that's Gavin. No control over his car up there. 
coming off the wall. Basically did a flip. Yeah, he gets on the brakes, but just a little bit too late. And the 20 gets uh, goes for a spin cycle. Lewandowski then. Gonna get a bit of the wall. Perhaps trying to get to the inside of the guy ahead. And 20, just a little bit too much of the uh, curb, I think, in turn two. It's gonna get him twice here. Again? Man, turn two. Being a real handful for that uh, Dale Jarrett looking car. Sliding and hitting the walls, the 16. Is that all we've got? Wow. Very clean race overall. We had the turn one issue, and then that's about it. Clean from there. So we will take home our small step of the podium, and I will be happy with that because those two other guys were very fast and able to be fast longer. So I'll take that. And I think um, our better starting position might have been what gave us the ability to finish ahead of Lewandowski as he moves up five spots. And he was uh, catching us. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at the race results page now and then wrap up on this one. A successful race, I think. I'm happy with that. All right, you heard it earlier before the race even started. 36-43 strength of field. And uh, we will get P3 and 38 I rating to put us at 56-31. And uh, we'll continue to improve our uh, safety rating 499 there. Uh, 192 championship points, very good haul, and uh, Larry with the win, the four with the fastest lap. So Larry only led two laps, but he led the most important one, as uh, we watched a pretty fun battle ahead of us, actually. That was a, a fun one, fun to race Pocono, and a fun race to watch in front of us, as we knew that uh, pass attempt was coming eventually. It ended up being a successful one, so that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Some Legacy Pocono in the Arca car. Pretty fun one. Go ahead and uh, give it a try if you're unsure. And I know uh, a lot of people like to skip this one, but it can be a, it can be some good fun. Just a little bit tricky to get it down with uh, the momentum-based speed requirements, I guess you could phrase it. Um, so that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one. See you later.